and welcome back to Whip It Wednesday. We're uh, making this a routine now. We right? are. We're trying to do it yeah, each week. Trying to, we're trying so. to stick with it. Um, so today, we're uh, joining you for some fun knitting whips. We are. And I think we're going to recap a little bit yeah. of what we talked about um, last year when we started this Whip It Wednesday thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, because we each had talked about, I think, five... One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we had each talked about five projects up until the beginning of this year. So yeah. we're going to kind of recap where we ended the year with those. <laughs> you did so much better than I did, but not really. <laughs> There's, I, I brought one to show you guys that you're, you're really going to laugh because it's, it's really sad. But it's okay. It's, it's not sad. Oh, just wait. You'll see. <laughs> it's, it's pretty sad. Nothing's but. that sad. So today for my whip that I'm working on, I'm actually working on my ohm shawl Yay. that I've talked about several times and we did for a cow that I didn't finish. <laughs> and I, I set a goal that I wanted to finish both my ohm shawl and my Kodaka shawl by the end of February. I made one of them. so. Hey. It's not horrible. No. I'm hoping maybe I can have this done by the end of March and maybe I can wear it for some early spring soccer or something. But totally. This is where I'm at right now. I'm still in the dreaded middle section. Yeah. Even with the stripes, I don't feel like it's gone as fast as I would like it to. But, but I do like the stripes, so I'm yeah. glad I did that. I think it'll be pretty once it's all done. Yeah, I agree. So, that's what I'm working on today for Very nice. our little bit of fun together. Are you going the wrong way? Am I? No. I'm going across. Why is it inside out? It's not. It is. Look at your shawl. Look at how your needles are. I'm working on the front piece, though. Yeah, but look where your cord is. It's not supposed to be in the front. Nope. <laughs> I was like, what is going on with your... Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... <laughs> okay. You pulled... When you pulled your needle, you pulled it this way oh I always do that okay <laughs> she's like what are you talking about what's wrong <laughs> nothing if that's how you do it then keep going I was just like what is going on I couldn't figure it out never mind you're I'm good. pretty sure I'm not getting inside out I used to do that with socks <laughs> <laughs> you're not I just could I'm like what is happening <laughs> I, okay, I just always forget to the front <laughs> well hey if it works for you that I don't think I can do that but hey Works for you. So you just go this way. <laughs> no, like I don't. I don't. I don't have anything to knit. So, like, I don't. Yeah, I didn't bring anything. I. <laughs> so for me, like, mine. Like, cause, see, when you get here, like your yeah no see your needle is like, what is going on? <laughs> well, I'm still knitting across the front. Yeah. And then those just keep sliding that way, that direction. Okay. I would just, my needle would have just come <laughs> that. No, it's fine. You just keep going. It works for you. It's, you're good. I was confused. I was like, wait a minute. What is she doing? My yarn's on the back side. Yep. We're good. You're good. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out what was going on. Your needle looked funny to me. I'm like, wait, uh-oh. She's going to be really mad at herself. But no, that's how you always do it. And you just keep going, sister. You're good. <laughs> but since you're talking about things that you said you were going to finish, you should talk about that one because you did finish that one. Oh, yeah. yeah that was She's wearing a pretty thing. I am. So I did finish this lovely right here. It's so pretty. I love now it. Now you're going to see my furry caterpillar. That's okay. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. So oh, this is my Kota Kiss. And I love it, and I've worn it several times. And all the ends are actually woven in. Look at you. And it's been blocked. My Look lovely husband, you. actually, I stuck it in, I stuck it in a wash and kind of forgot about it. <laughs> so sitting in the, in a bowl in the kitchen. <laughs> it smells good, so. Yeah, so he took it out and actually pinned it and blocked it for me. So, nice. Which was super nice. I love the way it turned out. Yeah, me too. I love the colors. They're me totally my too. colors. Yes, they are. You did a good job. Thanks. So the only thing I changed is um, the bottom ribbing. She did the same one I did on mine. 
yeah, I started with the ribbing of the pattern and I think I actually got off at one point, but it was actually, I don't know, it wasn't making me happy. So for the first time ever in my knitting history, <laughs> I actually ripped it back because I she knew did. I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> she did. And I did it without putting a lifeline in first. <laughs> I know. She, I, she's like, yeah, I'm ripping. I'm like, did you put a lifeline? She goes, no, why would I do that? I'm like, oh, but you should. <laughs> You really should. <laughs> so then, after I'd already ripped out several rows, then I finally actually went back, put a lifeline, <laughs> and then ripped back, and then put it back on, which was a whole process. Yes. <laughs> I was like, wow, this took me two hours to get it back on the needle. <laughs> but can you imagine, I mean, if you hadn't put the lifeline in, how much harder it would have been to pick those stitches up? Oh my up? gosh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I... Even as it was, so two hours, and I thought I was being completely diligent, mm -hmm. and I thought I was really good at about getting a left line. When I picked it back up to finish it, there was probably six stitches that I had dropped that mm -hmm. I realized as I was knitting through, and I was like, oh, look, there's a, mm -hmm. there's a stitch that isn't on the, yeah. on the needles. But I got all those picked back up. Good. And finished. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. And I'm really glad I ripped it back because I love this. And I actually told Lydia, this is the only ribbing I'm now doing from now on <laughs> because it's the only one that I can manage to keep straight because for some reason, knit two, purl two, or knit one, purl one, I somehow manage to get off <laughs> every time. I'm not That's kidding. That's funny. So, yeah. But this one, I literally... it. Never confuses me. I'm never Good. off. I pick it back up and I'm like, oh, that's where I was. Totally. And everything's great. So from now on, this is what I'm doing. So on my hat that I showed last Wednesday, that's the ripping I did on my hat. Yeah. Look how, like, I like uniform. I lost my microphone. Oops. Your stitches are so uniform. They look so good. It smells like you. Yeah, I used pineapple to wash, but it probably smells more like now. I was going to say it just smells like you, but it smells good. Pineapple silk. Nice. Which I'm almost out of. So I guess I'll have to wear this one. So can you use the, so you gave me that tuft woolens, is it sock wool? Mm -hmm. Can you use that on that too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's for everything. It just, it's called sock soap so that, cause she has body soap too. Oh. And so, yeah, yeah. It's for all knitwear. I know with the other, you just pour it in. There's two ways. So you can like lather it up like you would a soap bar and then just put the lathered part into the thing. Or you can like use a, um, like a cheese grater and grate it into water and mm. shake it up and make it kind of that kind foamy. Of foamy. Yeah. Mm. So I always just lather it up because that's just easier, but you can do either or. It's so pretty. I like it. Yeah, I really like it. Mm -hmm. I guess I've already worn it like three days. Nice. Yeah. Well, and it's still cold here in the Pacific Northwest, so hey. Looks good. I am a, I had like two shawl pins. Now I can't find them. So I found another one I'm going to order. But nice. I'm I don't like, have any. I think I would like this better without, with just like pinning it yeah. on the side than trying to wrap it around because I feel like. It's you lose so much of the top, I think, yeah. and so much of the color work. Well, and, I don't know, I have these boobs right here that <laughs> just kind of <laughs> get in my way. <laughs> there is so, that. Then I feel like I'm being choked by the, <laughs> by the shawl. So. Yes, there is that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've seen it pinned several times on other people, and I like yeah. it that way. Because, yeah, like I said, I think you just lose so much of the color work. So, so I'm going to, like, now that I took it off, I can't. Right, you can't get it back on. There. Yeah, it looks I'll good. just do that. It looks fine. So I brought this to show you guys how set. And I think I showed this, I think it was maybe the week of Halloween. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. But it's in my donut bag. It is in your donut bag. This is still one of my favorite bags. And I showed it last time too. It has the beautiful little donut progress keeper. So this is my glove pattern that I'm designing. And when I showed it last time, I needed to take the lifeline out and pick up this stitches mm -hmm. for the thumb because that's all I had left to do. I took the lifeline out and picked up the stitches for the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything else after that. I don't remember. Do you have the other one done or is oh, this no. the first one? This is okay. the first one. 
But seriously, I, all I need to do is net the thumb. <laughs> and that's, yeah. I went home and I had one put it back in the bag. Did I just drop? I did. It's right here. <laughs> and uh, that didn't work on it. I haven't worked on it since. So I have one of those too. Yeah. One of those happy, sad ones. I need to work on it though, because it's supposed to be for my collection and I need to get it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, we need to work on that. Yeah, we do. So this is my sad one. <laughs> I don't remember when I talked, do you remember when I talked about this? I think it was the same week I talked about okay. that. I don't remember. No, maybe it was the week of Thanksgiving. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. So I talked about this. This is Lydia's pattern. It's... Be mine. Be mine. Her Be Mine hat. And I, the first year I started knitting, I made all my nieces and nephews hats for Christmas. And I got everybody's done but Lily's. So this is Lily's hat. And I did actually finish it that week that I mm -hmm. started working on it. Because I literally only had, like, I think three, three rows. rows of the decreases to do. So it was kind of sad. <laughs> the really sad thing is all it needs is a pom-pom, which doesn't even require me to knit. <laughs> And I could have given it to her for, like, Christmas because <laughs> I could have actually put a pom-pom on it, but I didn't. So now I'm hoping to get a pom-pom on it and give it to her for her birthday, which is in March. So Yeah. And maybe she can wear it next winter. Yes. But I might block it because it feels kind of... Yeah, well, it's bulky weight, so yeah. it, it tends to be that way. The one I gave her little sister, I didn't block, but they were also, what, two years younger because mm -hmm. I had this on the needles for two years. So... Um, yeah, I might go ahead and block it just so I make sure it fits her, her head. Although it should, it's, it seems pretty big. Yeah, I think it will. But I think it'll feel better if I block it. Yeah. So it won't seem as dense. Yeah. And then I'll, you know, put the pom-pom on, <laughs> which <laughs> really should have been done like forever ago. You should get, you should get those giant pom-poms. Hope you had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> that was Alexa. <laughs> Holy crap, I think I almost just peed my pants. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Alexa tells uh, us goodnight when it's bedtime. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I jumped about four feet in the air. Uh, you should get the giant ones like I got for the girls' hats that I made them at Christmas. Because remember the black one I got for oh. Alexa's so, hat? Was I mean, it? Fur or was it? Yeah, yeah, but it was like it was giant. like giant. Mm. I th I still have them. I think I that bought them from kinda, Amazon. That might be kind of cool because uh, you know her sisters is the mm -hmm. bigger, but the knitted. So this would be kind of cool to yeah. do it. And black would be super cute. And I think I bought them on Amazon, so I can tell you exactly which ones they were. Cool. Because they were like, I mean, all my pom. I I get big pom, but these were like huge. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm totally doing that. Yeah, I would do it. It'd be cool. Yes. So, that is this one. Yay. And I talked about my color kiss. Yes. And my own. You did. And I had the hoarfrost. That one pretty much is exactly where it was. Yeah. I literally knitted it on that, that Wednesday and then put it back down. So. And then you also worked on, or had, you had been talking about the Grocery Girls shawl. Have you worked on that at all? No. No. So, that kind of leads into, do you have more to talk about though? Yeah. Okay. These are the ones I finished. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but she has ones that she's finished, yeah. so we'll go first with that. Um, so I talked about my gloves, so literally all I did was pick up the stitches, and that was it. Um, and then the week of Thanksgiving, I had been working on my Cozy Memories blanket, my own memories, um, and I did finish two squares that week, but it hasn't gone anywhere since then. So, um, <clears throat> But projects I did talk about that I finished. I, I finished love. my little Voodoo You Love Me. So cute. I can't figure out where the camera is. Um, and this is the Voodoo You Love Me by Susan Claudino. And the pattern itself is just the little voodoo doll, but I always add the little tutu skirt things because I'm weird. Um, but so I the like the little tutu skirt. I do too. Did you make this or did you yeah, buy it? Yeah, so I bought colorful ribbon and then I stuck them around a hair tie, which oh. is always how I do it. And I decided originally I was going to do a black tutu, but I liked all the little pops of color that were in the yarn. Um, and the yarn I used is the Rainbow Along 2017 from Suburban Stitcher. Um, She's so, so cute. Yeah. I, I love decided. her. And I made her a little bow out of the pink yarn. And in the pattern, like, you're supposed to do one of the eyes crossed out. I don't, 
ever like that. I don't know why. So I did it with buttons instead. The one's bigger than the other. I cannot. Seriously, what is my issue with the camera, guys? <laughs> and she's not in focus. I'm trying to get her in focus, but she's like, I can't get her to stop focusing on me. I don't know. Just a lot of focus. <laughs> um, and then I took one of my little crocheted hearts and stuck it on her body. I like that. So I think mm. I'm going to have to make one of those. Those are totally. so cute. And I still have to make Savannah's. We just won't talk about that. The but. next on my list of things to do. Oh, yeah. So I finished her. So she just sits on my little shelf. And then I had also talked about my Twisted Fates hat um, in the Hen House colorway. I finished that other than I still haven't woven in the end. But, or this one in here because I was going to put a pom-pom <laughs> out. So I haven't done that. But this is all done. Except for I can't put it on my hair. <laughs> oh, I like it on you. So, so pretty. Thanks. See, I can't figure out where anything is. But... And this is a hat pattern I designed. It's got uh, these two cables that run up this side, and then it's seed stitch around. So yeah, I like I it. I finished that, which I'm happy about. So it looks so cute in those beanies. Thanks. And then I didn't talk about these, but they were my Whip It Wednesday project for February because I have nine million sock whips, and I decided that this was the year to get them all done. So these were my February scrappy socks, and I finished them. I like them. Although, this is the problem with knitting socks two years apart. Okay. My gauge has changed slightly. <clears throat> <laughs> Does anyone notice a problem there? Like, it's like a whole color longer. <laughs> this one was knit two years ago when I was clearly stressed out. And this one was knit this last February. And it's, yeah, so... It doesn't, really, it, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't really matter that much because they're just socks, but it's like, I mean, seriously, look at that. It's like a whole <laughs> cuff length longer. That's awesome. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so this is the problem with knitting socks that far apart, but that's okay. But See, they're done, and I'm happy about it. Even as experienced, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your gauge changes. Oh, it totally does. It absolutely does. And I think when I knit the first pair, I was using... Um, there are this pair of sock needles that I have that I can never think of. I don't know where they're from, um, but I think they're a little bit smaller than the mm -hmm. size twos that I made the second one with, which does, you know, of course have a effect, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter. They're socks. They're socks. Yeah. So. Nobody's going to notice. Yeah. And they're socks for me or Emma, because she steals my socks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that. But that leads us into goals. <sighs> yes. Okay. So goals. So my goal that I kind of <clears throat> am setting for myself for this year is I really want to each month try to finish one of my whips that mm -hmm. are sitting over on my shelf. Because yeah. I have lots of stuff that I've worked on and I would love to wear or give mm -hmm. to my girls or whoever. And yeah, they're sitting on a shelf. Yeah. And it's kind of frustrating. So yep. that's my goal. I'm going to try to finish one a month or maybe every couple months. Probably every couple of months. That's probably a more realistic goal. Yeah. Because I'd still like to work on, you know, new stuff. Mm -hmm. Totally. But, so, hold me to it. <laughs> yeah. My goals are similar. Um, so, I've decided that this year, anything that was cast on before this year will be finished at the end of the year. And if it's not, then it's just going to get ripped out. Because, I mean, some of them I've had, I mean, the socks that I finished in January that I had been working on for Joel and I, I cast on two and a half years ago. Mm. And I was just, it, it, it's just ridiculous. I'm like, that's, yeah. like, if you haven't worked on it really since then, you're not going to finish it. So for me, I was like, whatever doesn't get done is going away. And it'll just, it's just going to go away. Um, but my knitting goal is that every, so the majority of the whips that I still have that are from several years ago are all my socks. I had nine pairs at the beginning of the year. I've now finished two. Um, so I've set a goal, like each month I'll work on a sock whip. So like I have one for this month, I have one for April, I have one for every month leading up to July. So I don't have one for July, August or September, maybe no June, sorry, June, July and, and August, because that's Harry Potter time for mm -hmm. me. And so I was just like, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but then in my last one should hopefully be done in November. So I won't have to worry about one in December and I can do my advent socks. Um, that's my plan. So awesome. hopefully that happens. Get all your socks. Well, and most of them are, like, 
they already have one sock done. I just need to finish the second <laughs> sock, so it shouldn't be that bad. I only have one that's just one stock, sock that has been started, which are going to be, I think, my May socks. Um, they're that speckled space socks that, out of my oh, really uh -huh. dead, mm -hmm. totally red llama. Um, but yeah, everything else is just like a sock is already done, so it's kind of sad. But that's my plan, so those are my goals. So yeah. hopefully we'll stick with it. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll do the same. Maybe I'll rip out whatever... Because most everything over there is stuff that I kept on like two years ago when yeah. I first started knitting. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And oh, I'm going to do this. And I'm, oh, I'm going to do this. And then, I don't know, got bored or yeah. didn't like the pattern or. Well, yeah. And that's just like, I mean, some of the, I was like, these are socks from 2015. And, and I'm just like, <laughs> you know, that's ridiculous. Well, and the sad thing is, is you pick them up and you start working on them. And then you're and like, you put them oh. and then I put them down again. It's like, I don't want to work on these. Well, and that's <laughs> it. I've noticed for me, a lot of the projects, like. The ones that I really wanted to finish, I finished. If I picked mm -hmm. it up and I instantly didn't want to work on it, I was like, I'm just ripping it out. There are some that I still have that I really want to do. But for me, it's like, if they've been on the needles that long, there's something about the project that I'm not loving, whatever mm -hmm. that is. And I'm okay with admitting that I just don't want to finish it. Yeah. So. You know, my O oh, Memories benefit that mm -hmm. I started, I think I have like five or four and a half squares done on. Yeah, I've decided I'm going to rip out the half of a fifth square that I have, make it square, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put a border around it, and then I'll use it as, like, a coaster totally. or something. Totally. Do it, yeah. You know, or a hot pad or something. Because I don't like the size of needles. Yeah. Those carbons that you gave me, I just, every time I pick it up to work on it, I'm just like, ugh, I want to work on this. Yeah. I don't like how long See, they and are. That's and, yeah, so I was like, yeah. you know what? Rather than trying to switch needle sizes and then have them be weird, yep. which will drive me crazy <laughs> <Just> <laughs> i'm like you know what out. i'm just gonna rip out that last one yeah. and actually you know that was my husband's idea he's like why don't you just rip it out mm -hmm. you know right now i have like a washcloth that sits next to my alarm clock on my thing and i have a couple pills that i have to take at night before i go to bed and so my water and my pills and stuff just sit there on that little washcloth and so i'll probably switch it out and put my own memories cute there perfect yeah good so. plan so maybe I'll do the same. Yeah. I think. <clears throat> There's no point. If you, you know, don't if love I, it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, knitting should be enjoyable and fun, and you should love the things you're working on, and if you're not, then yeah. meh. So and my mom did tell me last weekend when she was over, she said, if I end up not liking my boxy sweater, I can give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> she's happy to take it off She's happy to take it off my hands. Nice. Yeah. Good deal. I think she's one of the few people that I've knitted for that actually wears mm -hmm. her hat all yeah. the time. So. Yeah, she does. Her and my sister, those are, mm -hmm. like, um, Chandler was born, and mm -hmm. she had, like, the little hat on her. Yeah. yeah. She, like, instantly. She's still yeah. in the hospital. She's, like, hours old, and she sends us pictures, and she's wearing the little booties that I sent her and the hat that Amber made her, and the, like, giant on her because she's, like, this big. Yeah. I was like, um, yay, yeah. she's knit worthy. Totally. <laughs> and my nieces, my nieces are great. I don't, I haven't seen you guys since I gave them to them, but... It, they were so cute because they came into town wearing the hats that I gave them last year and then I gave them their new ones and they loved them but at one point my sister-in-law came over and told me that they had had a conversation with her because they were worried that their old hats were going to be upset that their new <laughs> hats were getting attention and I was just like you guys are seriously the cutest things ever and they didn't take them off the entire time they were there that whole week yeah so I'm just so like, you're like I will yeah. get you the hats exactly. for the rest of your yep, life pretty much and I even asked her that I'm like at some point if we ever get to the point where this is like I'm the aunt who knits hats like that's not cool anymore she's like I don't think we'll ever get there I'm like okay but if we do <laughs> Please let me know. Just let me know. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't want to be like, oh, you're that aunt. <laughs> like, you know? But they love them, so that always makes me happy. Speaking of that, I actually have something to show you guys. Um, I got an embroidery machine for Christmas. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me of that because I was like, yeah. hopefully I don't become that person that starts embroidery. <laughs> I told my husband, I was like, ooh, guess what? We can, can monogram put, everything. I can put W's on our, our towels for our guest bathroom and, you know, and all the stuff that I'm just, and my daughter's like, are you going to put, like, our names on everything? <laughs> we should buy a pack of underwear and put her name in them I just, know, just for, that. for the heck of it. Yeah, for my oldest. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Because that would be hilarious. hysterical. Yeah. She would not be happy with us. She'd be fine I would laugh. That. It would be good. <laughs> So I got this embroidery machine for Christmas, and yeah, hopefully I'm not going to turn into one of those people that embroiders everything. You will for a while, but it's okay. We love yeah. you anyway. I probably will. I've already got plans for <laughs> Disney World, because we've decided um, next year we're going to go to Disney World. Nice. Make it happen. 
and we've invited my grandma and my mother-in-law oh, to come with us oh, because fun. they've never been, which my That'd grandma is super excited. She's like, and well, my mother-in-law too, because they're like, both of them said, well, I never thought I was going to get to go in my lifetime. And so, Aww. yeah, it's super sweet. And I'm fun. really excited to have them come. And I think it'll be great for my kids because, yeah. you know, having grandma and, and great grandma there. I'm totally. like, such a cool memory and mm -hmm. you know it'll be fun doing that something like that with them yeah so originally i was gonna buy these fleeces from disney that have mickey and minnie on them and then you can have them personalized but mm -hmm. now that i have my embroidery machine i'm just gonna personalize them myself so it's totally super excited <laughs> totally so i can save you know 12 dollars per fleece yeah so that'll be awesome that'll be but, fun yeah oh so i'm mean, kind of playing around with it I'm going to offer some cool stuff. And if you've been to my site recently, you'll see that it's kind of under construction because I'm doing a little change. Mm -hmm. I've decided that I feel like there's too much competition with us all trying to use the same fabrics, same type of bags, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So kind of like our podcast, I've decided, you know, I want to be a little different. I want to hit more of the market. So more like canvas shopping bags, that kind of stuff. I'm mm -hmm. kind of thinking... I'll still have some of the others. I just won't post as much different choices up with right. the shop updates. So, yeah. But there'll still be some stuff, and, I, of course, I'm always willing to do custom orders. But this, <laughs> I've been playing around. And, obviously, this won't be my logo in a bag because it's huge. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm just trying to learn how to <laughs> use the machine. It's which scary is looking. a little it's bit more complicated than a sewing machine. Yeah. So... But this turned out pretty it's good. A, I was a like, big, scary machine. It's puckered because I didn't get the fabric tight <laughs> enough. So this is the process of learning new sewing and that kind of stuff. So it'll take me a little bit longer. But I'm hoping eventually that my um, logos in my bags, instead of being the ironed on decal, my shirt's like falling off, ironed on decal that. Um, Sorry, I'm just laughing at you because I just noticed that your yarn for your ohm shawl is wrapped around your mic. <laughs> so I'm like, why does she have string hanging on her? Oh, guys, I tell you. This, ya. this uh, <laughs> microphone hates me today. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to take it in here. I still have yarn <laughs> hanging on me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> We're just going to go days. with it. It's been a yeah. long day. Oh, green, St. Patty's yeah. Day. Yep. Yeah. Coming up. We just have to you know, try to be festive. Totally. <laughs> Yeah. Did it work? <laughs> Could you guys tell that that's what that was all about? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like all of a sudden it's like I've it's hit me that it's been a long day and I'm like mm, just li listening to Amber talk mm, off and all <laughs> yeah. asleep totally lull me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so eventually, back on topic. Yeah, eventually <laughs> oh, my that. logos in my bag will be um, embroidered. I have my font that I just have to digitize, which I'm still learning what that means. So. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah. So, eventually, it'll be embroidered with my name, so it'll help with, like, the tag falling off. I wasn't really yeah. happy with how, like, I think your donut bag doesn't have it on there anymore. I don't know. I have one, a couple that it has come off. But yeah, and it has for me, too, because, yeah, you it's know, still there. it's still there. So, some of them stay really good, and then others I've had that just... You know, I use the bag for, like, a week or two, and the tag just falls off. And I'm like, I'm not really no. happy with that. I pay enough for them that I'm kind of like, eh, that kind of sucks. Stay. They should stay. Yeah. So this is the other option. And the other cool thing that I'm going to offer is I'm going to offer some sayings because that's kind of a big thing right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe different knitting sayings and then the option mm -hmm. to, like, personalize. So yeah. if somebody has something that they want personalized or a name on it or something, that would be kind of cool. So that would be cool. I agree. Yeah. That would be fun. So I'm playing around, having fun with it. Yeah. I think it's cool. I'm going to start maybe, you know, because I don't have enough ho hobbies between sewing and knitting. You know, I'm going to try quilting. <laughs> My daughter wants a quilt for her bed, so we're going to learn together. Cool. Yeah. So I'm going to try that. And there's something else. Oh, clothes. Yeah. I'm going to try sewing some clothes. I didn't get my skirt, by the way. I know. I I'm still totally have, getting it. I still have the fabric. So you will eventually get it. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. I've been kind of in a, in a mode of, like, looking at stuff. And I've saved some videos I want to watch. I just haven't quite gotten to the point of watching the videos yet. But you're busy. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. It was so much easier when I, when I had that, you know, like, month off in between jobs when I wasn't doing anything, and I just was, like, at home, and I was like, yeah, this is so easy. I can, like, get videos up, like, just like totally. that. Totally. I can get all this knitting done, and, yeah. you know, <laughs> now that I'm back to work, which I'm She's loving crazy. my new job. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, now that I'm back to work, it's kind of like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not there that. are not enough hours in How the day. How did I do this before? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Between that and the severe weather, delaying shipping, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Waiting on shipping supplies so I can actually ship stuff out. You know, I, my printer crapped out, so I had to order a new printer. It was supposed to be here next day. Shows up, like, a week later. <laughs> like, are you kidding me right now?